Hello guys and welcome back to another one of my LEGO tutorials and today I am going to be making the universal joint alright so um, and as always all the pieces are gonna come from this book right here so if you have the book they don't worry about like missing any of any of the pieces let's get started so first of all you are going to need these pieces um two a stud bricks four four stud plates and one uh, four stud brick all right so um first of all you take this four stud brick and you stick two of these plates underneath it like this all right then you take uh this a stud brick and put it on the edge like this all right and you p do the same thing with the other side so as this kind of u-shape like this all right and then you put two more plates on the top to, to secure it so yeah now you got this all right now make two of those so now you have two of these horseshoe thingies i don't know all right um uh, and then now let's get um two six stud bricks two two stud bricks two four times two plates, uh, two gray pegs, uh, one crank, one bushing, and one eight stud axle. All right, so now uh, let's start by taking these two six stud bricks and then putting the plates on top of it. And so, so you get something that looks like this, right? Okay, now let's take uh, two stud brick and put it under here like this So now you got this little rectangle here. All right, so next you take a gray peg and stick it into the end of a uh, of, uh, Two stud brick and do the same thing on the other side. So you got this thing All right, then take this uh, crank and we're actually not going to be using it as a crank. So we're just going to stick it here, right? So you got this, right? It's going to align with the hole in the middle. All right, next, take um, your axle and just, just, you know, skewer right through the middle, the hole in the middle. So there. And this, um, this axle should be secure because this crank is holding it in place. All right, then lastly, take your red bushing and just stick it on the side like this. All right, so now you got this weird thing here. All right, now take your two things right here and just and stick it, just take one of these and just stick it like this. All right, so here you go. All right, take the other one and you know stretch it open and you know just yeah, there you go. And do the same thing with the other side. So oh, what the hell? All right, hold on. Let's put it back. All right, good. Just there you go. All right, so now you got this uh, this interlocking horseshoes, whatever. All right. Uh, now uh, let's take two eight times two plates and like put them on here, so, like the one stud away from the bottom. All right. Do the same thing on the other one, like this. All right. So there we go. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna take um. One zero degree axle connector and one hundred eighty degree axle connector, and let me just clarify this right now. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you use. If I had a choice, I would be using two zero degree axle connectors. But since my rule here is that every piece must come from this book, I have to use one of each. So yeah. Okay, so we're also gonna take two black pegs right here. So we're gonna take. Uh, we're gonna put a black peg in here. There you go. And just take one of these uh, axle connectors, doesn't matter which one. 
just stick it on here like this. All right, and do the same thing with the other side with the other X connector. There we go. All right, now uh, let's take uh, one eighth stud axle and one sixth stud axle. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna stick one through the hole right here and make it connect with the axle connector. All right, so you got this. Do the same thing on the other side with the six stud axle. There we go. Okay. And next, we're going to take um, two bushings and two of those small bushings. Alright? And we're going to just put a bushing on each end. And put a half bushing on each end. There we go. So it looks something like this. Alright. Now, um... We're gonna make the frame of this um, universal joint. So first, let's start off with two 12 stud bricks and one black peg. So we just put a black peg here and just you know, there we go. Okay, good. And we'll take two six times two plates and just attach it on here. So there we go. All right, uh, then take one 10 stud brick, one 4 stud brick, and one 8 stud brick. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is attach this 10 stud brick right here, like this, all right? Okay, and then we're going to take this 4 stud brick and stick it right around here, all right? Three studs away from the end, okay? And then we're going to take the A stud brick and just stick it like right here. Alright, good. And then we're going to take the other 10 stud brick and just stick it on top like that. Alright, good. Okay, and next we're going to take this 42 skier, 4 stud axle, and um, bushing here. And we're just going to, you know, put the axle through the gear. And put the gear right around here. All right. Just make sure the last hole is um, unobstructed. All right. And just put a um, bushing down here, like that. All right. That's good. All right. Now let's take the our joint we made earlier and stretch this stretch this open and. Uh, as you may have noticed, there is one longer end and one shorter end. We're going to stick the longer end in over here. All right, so we're going to put it in the second hole from the end. There we go. All right, good. And then we're going to put the um, shorter end over here on the other end in the last hole from the end right here. So now you should have something that looks like this. All right, and we're almost done, right? So now all we need to do now is take a bushing and A2 skier. So we put the bushing um, here, just stick it down here, there, all right? And on the other side, we put, put a bushing right, um, no, not a bushing, a gear right here. And there you have it. We're done with the universal joint. Let's try it out works awesome. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time.